not day to day, task by task. And what if you had some partners come along with you and you sat in this audience that wanted the same thing, you know, like-minded people like us, and you got to sit there as if it was a show just for you, like the movies, like going to a special talk, inspiration, motivational night. How would you love to do that? Well, in this video that you're getting right now and you're watching, it's all about inspiration. It's about health. It's about your alignment. It's about carrying stress and what it can do for you. And we may not specifically talk on each step of what I just said, but take that with you as you come into this video and this show and this episode and think about how you feel when you first start listening to this and then how you feel by the time you're done listening to this episode. My goal as the founder of the Fresh Inspiration Show is that you feel freedom in your body, love in space, and that you are ready to take whatever that next step is, the biggest goal that you want. But now, instead of it feeling like it's so far away, that you get to see the steps or feel. It's not as hard. So tonight, we're gonna to record something special for you. We're in San Francisco. You can feel the energy. We're ready to rock. We're ready to get going. I'm ready to get my air guitar going. Yes, I'm crazy, but that, that's the way it goes. You gotta you got accept that about me and the Fresh Inspiration Show because we're here to be authentic and I hope you're here because you're looking for authenticity, inspiration, and lots of love and vibe. So enjoy the show. You are gonna have an interesting night tonight. And I'm not just saying it because it's my show, the Fresh Inspiration Show, but, but welcome in. But I'm doing something special. You may not realize this, but this is a show. It's not a speaker circuit. Everybody keeps saying, Rhonda, what's this speaker circuit? I said, oh no. No, we're here for a show. Are you ready for a show tonight? Yeah. Yeah, everybody ready for a show? Yeah. 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 All right. Okay. So, but to have a show, I mean, you can't just have people just coming on and off the stage. You gotta have a little pizzazz, a little flair. Are you ready for that? Yeah. 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 A flair? Okay. So I'll tell you what. You may not have noticed, but there's this beautiful woman over here off to the side, and I heard some special things about her, and it took me one second to say yes to her that I wanted to spend time with her. Her name is Sherry Breyer, and she's all about women empowerment and working together as a community. And I think that's what this is about, about community. And so this is where we get to come together and we get to bedazzle and sparkle. I mean, it, isn't that right, Sherry, that it's all about glitter, right? Okay. I'm getting ready to introduce her, but she yeah. loves the sparkle. You're going to see some beautiful sparkle on her, and me too. It's going to be an aura. So let's open it up. Sherry Breyer, come on in. My name's Nicole Diabla. I'm an author, 
I'm a speaker, a creator, a dream maker. And I'm here tonight to help you realize your dreams, to help you step into your power. It's a combination of practical steps, of little steps that you can take each day to reach big, big goals, to let those dreams come out and manifest so that you not only are in your power, but you're attracting your tribe, you're attracting your people, you're attracting the people who in turn you help them in your own unique special way to live better, healthier, happier lives. So I'm honored to be here and I can't wait to share with you and walk hand in hand with you on this journey. Thank you. I had got so I was doing my daily routine and meditating and and uh, if you've ever had kids or known somebody who has, that all kind of falls apart because you got to get into the routine of, of your your baby and your children. So my kids were um, probably like kindergarten kind of age around that, and they had a room. Rooms are on either side, like at the end of the hallway and my son and there's my daughter two years apart so it finally gave me the idea is like one of the things I always like to do is chant and to meditate of course too so it, it seemed like I'd always settle them in the bed and tonight was the night I was gonna go do my chanting and do my meditation and mom you know <laughs> this happened or yeah you know. so what I decided to do is put them to bed put a chair in the end of the hallway there their doors are open, and chant. And I have my little guitar and do it right there. <laughs> Nobody ever called mommy. Nobody, all those problems just kind of disappeared, I guess because mom was there. Welcome in. We are ready for air guitar, so you're gonna be seeing me come over this way and do a little dance. A little excitement you know there's no music but for some reason we're in San Francisco at Katarina's location TWIBC by the way which I love so much but when I'm in San Francisco I feel a vibe and I feel this cadence and what it is is the connection of the energy here so what you're gonna find is the energy of the show and I'm going to introduce you to a few people that are going to be here so that you know what you're, what you're in for. This is a fun episode for me because I get to have somebody who's a mentor of mine that's going to be speaking tonight. I have Nicole Diavola who just introduced me, very good friend. We've known each other for about six or seven years. We have Laura Klein who is really about the beauty and you're going to hear a little bit from her. CJ, an award-winning coach. I'm so proud to have her here. And then Sherry Breyer. I love that dance, by the way, my friend. This is a great way to kick off the show. What did you think about the beautiful stuff that she was love flowing it. around? I, I, could, yeah. I didn't have anybody up here in the front because I thought, you know, like, I need to give her space. So welcome, welcome into the Fresh Inspiration Show. Yay! Yay! Now my friend Katarina Rando, this woman has Katarina-isms. You see, see how I don't have my air guitar but I'm still moving around? This is what I get every time that I'm with Katarina. First thing is, you're going to feel her vibe and her flow. Serving, allowing women to feel at your highest purpose. And it's just because of the being being and the little fun things that she does. I believe humor has to be in everything. And Katarina, I know that you believe that too in everything you do. And I see this spirit no matter where you walk into. Hi everybody, I'm Katarina Rando. And my work is all about supporting women to be themselves, do their thing, serve their people, and massively monetize their mastery because it's really important that women give from a place of abundance and serve from a place of abundance and not from a place of lack 
because when women thrive economically, they uplift themselves, their families, their communities, and they contribute a lot to the world. And tonight, I'm going to be talking about some of the key guiding principles that support women to thrive in their business. Things like managing our disappointment and not getting discouraged with the disappointment du jour and building community because that really supports us to stay uplifted and to support others and to really make collaborations and connections that serve ourselves and our business. And guess what? There's a ton more. And the one thing I want to let everybody know is that when you have a business, self-care is super important. And that's something we'll be focusing on this evening too. Because if you don't self-care, you can't serve. So let's take another deep breath. And I, you know, we've thought about ourselves a lot, I, sh I shouldn't say uh, a lot or too much, because it's the time of year, right, for goal setting. I want you to take a moment and I want you to think about what's your intention for your community? What's your intention for the people that you touch? Your colleagues, your clients, your friends, your neighbors, the people in our amazing country, because really we're all one community. And then think about the world and what do you want for the world? And then you can think about what do you want for yourself? <laughs> And I'll tell you, I'm going to, may I tell you what I want for the world? Yes. What I want for the world is a planet where every girl and every woman knows that she matters. Mm -hmm. And not only that she matters, that she knows that she has massive value to bring. Because so many girls, and some of us, as we reflect on our upbringing, you know, we're told to be seen and not heard, and, and uh, we're told to be polite. Do you know what a client said to me today? Very interesting. This is a sidebar. I like sidebars. <laughs> that she had a, a client who was inappropriate with her, and she noticed that she was being so polite in the midst of this inappropriateness because that's how she was raised. And what I want is to every woman to know that you know what? You don't have to put up with something if you don't like it. You don't, it's okay for you to take care of yourself. It's okay for you to put your needs first. It's okay for you to say no. That doesn't work for me. This is what I want for the women in the world. And you know what? Everybody take another deep breath. You know how us, as business women, you know how we propagate every woman in the world knowing that she matters, every girl knowing that she matters? By being role models in our own business. Because when we stand up for ourselves, and other women see that, that gives them permission. Now, I know we're all big girls, so the idea is like, well, we don't need permission. No, we don't, but sometimes we do. Would you agree with me, my friends? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. That we need reminders. And so I want to invite you to think about your business and think about what's not working for you. Think about your life, what's not working for you. And maybe there's some place where it's time, or maybe over time, for you to stand up for yourself and stand up for your business. trusted space because I want people to come in and feel like they're coming in with family. 
It's my number one thing. When I met Laura, it was a few months ago, and I got an opportunity to have a wonderful conversation with you, Laura. Sometimes when we sell different beautiful products that help you with your eyelashes and help you with your skin and help you feel good. Now let Laura speak more to this, so I don't want to say too much more, but it's about the story. It's about understanding that whatever got you to that moment of wanting to put stuff out on the table and talk to people about having a conversation, that the story has to be intact so that people know why you're so wonderful because there's so many beautiful products out there, but I do believe in the stuff that you're doing and that you sell too. Laura, will you come up? This is Laura Klein. Thank you. Laura Klein. So Laura, are you are you nervous being up here? Is this fabulous? This is yeah. fabulous. No, I'm not nervous at all. I Yay. feel very so yes. much love in the yeah. room and just I love I mean, I've worked with Katarina quite a bit, and I just could listen to her all day long. She's so, so inspiring. Yeah, and you know, yeah, we could. <laughs> yeah, just <laughs> have her on the show. Yeah, that's good. And, um, and getting to know you has been wonderful as well, and just meeting your community. And, and, you know, that's what this business has brought to me, is meeting and being more open and getting out of your comfort zone. I've mm -hmm. always been sort of a social person. But now I meet people from all different walks of life, you know, by going to the, the summit that we went to in Sacramento and meeting people there. Yeah. And, and now I'm here. And so, yeah, I've, I've really enjoyed um, this journey that I'm on. Excellent. Yeah. So, okay, so let's go there. Your journey. Um, I want to hear a moment of what brought you into um, the product that you sell. So what is the product that you um, so I partner with the doctors who created Proactive, Dr. Katie Rodan and Dr. Kathy Fields. They're Stanford trained dermatologists who have changed the way that um, teenagers were dealing with acne back in the 90s. I and remember that. I, I bought Proactive, by the way. Yeah. I yeah. didn't have acne, but I knew what Proactive was. And I've been doing pharmaceutical sales for 20 years here in the mm. Bay Area. And um, it's been a great profession for me, and I work with doctors all day long. Um, but what I was finding is I was feeling a little bit bored, wondering sort of, is this what I'm going to do for the rest of my life? And I'm getting older and um, looking at what the future holds and, and retirement and what I want to do. And um, I love to travel the world and I need money to be able to do that and I don't want to live on a fixed income. Um, so finding and being introduced to something that I can take with me no matter where I am, yep. that was the kind of the initial draw. Um, I'm, in my, well, I'm in my late 40s now, but I was in my mid 40s um, when I was introduced to Rodana Fields. And I grew up in Southern California where I had an album cover with tin foil on it and put baby oil all over Ooh. my body and <laughs> roast in the sun. And yeah. although that was really <laughs> fun, that. when I was younger, as you get older, as we all know, the sun is just damaging to your skin and especially your face. We, this is our marketing material. You know, every, this is what people see us. And if you want to feel confident in your own skin, without having, you know, uh, showing signs of aging and then you try to cover it up with makeup and then it just makes you look worse and, you know, self-confidence, you want to feel good from the inside out. <laughs> Four years sober 
and I decided to do a self-appraisal looking at the ways in which my behavior had led to the demise of the relationships I had with the few men in my life. And what I realized pretty quickly was I used to get drunk and yell and scream at them that they were worthless and would never amount to anything. Oh, I was horrified. I denigrated their souls like that. And the thing is, I didn't even mean it about them. I meant it about myself. Wow, that was an aha moment. Because in that moment, I realized, and it stood to reason, it was logical, that all those years, my father called me worthless and said I would never amount to anything. He meant it about himself. You're in the room, and I'm getting to know everybody. I truly believe it. When I look in the camera, I can say, I love you. That's what gets me through the fears. That's what gets me through being off of medicine. I want to invite you in to think about your personal health. And if your fear of if I eat better, what's that going to really do for me? Is, are things really going to change? So I want you to start thinking about your self-dialogue and step into how you can change your life today. Think about everybody that you got to meet tonight and how you're going to feel when you leave out here from the episode or for being here live. Thank you. Thanks for coming.